Nous Honneur et fidélité of the Saturday 28 of September 2019. The editorial of Commander Serge Civil Aton Fakgeno, Head of Communication Division, Ministry of Defense. Good afternoon, Commander. Good afternoon, Senior Warrant Officer. Always a pleasure being in your company. Commander, in less than 48 hours, there will be the kick-off of the major national dialogue here at the Yaoundé Congress Center. Cameroonians will therefore write the scenario of the history for the next few years. While waiting for the epilogue of these foundations, what more can be said to be the essence of this meeting? You know, senior warrant officer, the essence is uh, very, very important. What needs to be said is that throughout its existence, every nation, every people sees the cause of its history being enlivened by good times, during which the joy of life is communicative. There is little concern for the danger. Resources are within everyone's reach. And the other, one's identity is not considered a threat. There are also, alas, periods of lean cows where everything seems to go wrong with scarce of very expensive resources. These periods are conducive to the exhibition of competition between individual entities and other organizations. It is the struggle for survival, which is sometimes disastrous when as concerns its consequences. In its history, Cameroon has experienced and braved these turbulences. But there are also, alas, periods of lean cows where everything seems to go wrong with scarce or very expensive resources. These periods are conducive to the exhibition of competition between individual entities and other organizations. It is the struggle for survival with sometimes disastrous consequences in its history. Come on as experience and break these turbulences. But we also observe that for half a decade, a country has been going through a turbulent phase characterized by a level of violence never seen before. In the far north, we have the lowly materialistic predators of Boko Haram who want to be fundamentalists in the northwest and southwest regions. Other predators of natural resources claim to be separatists as well. Through low divisionary manoeuvres, they have been many attempts to dissociate and dislocate Cameroon's sociolinguistic communities. The desire was to pit Anglophones against Francophones, Christians against Muslims. It is not until the clergy who have not been tempted by the demons of the split relate sometimes of the same confession taking radical action to one or the other of the protagonists of the crisis. But the rest showed that this was only superficial arguments, the family attachments, the awareness of belonging to a single people being stronger than the motives of subjective and imported cleavages. Between these two ends, focus on indiscriminate armed violence, we have the real existential problems of Cameroonians that are expressed within the framework of Republican legality. It is up to them to find concerted solutions for a better future of a country. Yes, Commander, it's still curious and perhaps... Do you think these maneuvers are so innocent? que la palabre à la Camerounaise à venir et qui ratisse large en termes de représentativité n'a d'objectif que d'ausculter les racines profondes de la Camerounaise. You know, I wish to precise that the Camerounian problem, which gathers large numbers in terms of representatives, has as objective si to take out the Afrique, root causes of the problems plaguing our society and to propose a collegial manner remedy. But if you are referring to Jeanne Afrique, talking about Cameroonians, 
as an immobile people hoping for change or RFE announcing the presence of the presidential guard in Bamenda or media part which accuses the D of practicing counter insurgency methods in the northwest and southwest regions. I will tell you that these attacks are neither innocent nor que ces attaques nous viennent en pas judge de by the timing, you will find that these attacks occur in the space of just a few days after the announcement by the president of the republic, Paul Bia, of the holding of the major national dialogue. For commons, enemies, enthusiasm, and hopes for a peaceful exit from the crisis had to be showered, prompted by this Ensuite, prospect warmly si welcome around the world. Attaques, then if you look at the targets of these attacks, you will see that they are directed against elite units of our defense forces, including the Rapid Intervention Battalion and the Presidential Guard. Finally, it is a matter of questioning the will and the ability of Cameroonians to get out of the bad way in which they find themselves in a totally sovereign and above all peaceful way, it is the majority of a people that is being questioned. It is therefore a question of showing the world that Cameroon has the will and the means of its ambitions. The first being to write its own history. The violence has lasted long enough as suffering has endured quite a long time. Now there is room for something magic, regenerative magic, room for the creative power of place la magie regenerative renewal de la palabra africaine, place à la puissance créatrice de la parole concertée pour le renouveau. Who said the military were insensitive souls? Commander, thank you for that cry from the bottom of your heart. Long live the major national dialogue. See you on Saturday. See you on Saturday, senior warrant officer.